Hello Angels, Queens and Babies, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Emma Rose Hamilton and this is my Tranquil Vibe Travel Channel. And today we are discussing Tranquil, not Travel, because I've just remembered with a Tranquil Vibe Channel. Tranquil Vibe Travel, Travel's an addition. And I feel like I've put a lot of pressure on myself to like, right, I need to put out interesting travel vlogs 24 seven, when really? but also a tranquil vibe so grab your cup of tea if you're having your tea that's even better i've got some potato smileys on the way you'll see that in a minute we're doing our everyday makeup look ready for the cinema and you know we need to we need to keep it keep it real me and you just a little chat a little catch up maybe you're getting ready for bed stick your candle on and if you want to see how i created this very simple day to day look stick around. I do apologise for my appearance. Um, I am just out of the shower and I'm not gonna lie, I did have a pick of this area. I could feel last night it was going weird, but like going spotty, but you know, we live and we learn. I might buy a face mask today. I do want one with like a brush, like, you know, four spots, but I feel like travel vibes probably can't buy that as another thing to carry around which I shouldn't do. Also I did say that this lasts around three months but I feel like now me and Jam are actually putting the right amount on and this two of us using it. We've gone through this one quicker than the rest like you can hear it's um like it's nearly done already and we've only had that one about a month because I said it lasted about three months last time but it's not even doing that now because I think we're actually using the right amount we're using it daily putting lots on. Apparently, my sister was telling me that in England, sorry if you can hear, bleh, uh, that's the birds in Australia. Um, my sister was telling me that they actually do, it's, so this is Anthelios, they do a mist version of SPF to top up during the day. I don't think they do it in Australia, but if you're at home, get a mist to like top up during the day. Cause I feel like cream's fine once, but when you're putting cream on top of cream on top of cream, it's a bit much. Um, so today we are going to the cinema. So I wouldn't usually put makeup on for the cinema, but I've been feeling a bit yuck. Yesterday I did not have a good day self-confidence wise. Um, I put makeup on to make myself feel good, put on a little skirt, didn't feel good in a little skirt, put on some jeans, felt better but not right. I wore my hair down and it was greasy, which was just a mistake because it annoyed me. It was windy, so you know when it like sticks to your lips. Uh, not cute. And then we were in Coles and a man looked at my breasts and went, mmm. And I was like, and then another guy straight after that was just like this and looked and James saw that and went, I was just like, do you know what? Usually that wouldn't bother me, but today that has got to me and I cried. So that was yesterday. Today, mentally I'm feeling much more positive. I've just been watching my old YouTube videos and being like, Emma, why are we not doing these? Why are we not doing getting ready? Why are we not doing catch ups? Why are we not doing self care Sundays? Why are we not doing essential travel items? So I'm feeling like that's probably gonna be like the Wednesday stuff. We're gonna start ramping it back up and every Sunday will be a vlog. That's for you parents. Dad's probably stopped watching by now, but that's okay. We've got all the rest of the AKBs here. So I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of makeup just to cover this skin because I'm not really wanting the spots on show today is the vibe. So I just wanted to do a little like catch up video. How are we all doing and feeling? It's overcast here today. We went out for a walk. There was a fresh breeze. You'll see all this in a vlog. There was this fresh breeze, which you don't really get in Australia. They don't really have this like, you know that like cool breeze you get in England? That's the first time I felt that here. There was people cutting the local area, like cutting the grass. It's the smell of fresh grass and I was like, oh my God, I feel like I am at home. So I thought, I was like, you know what? Cozy vibes here, I've got my jumper on. It's gonna be cozy vibes at home. You know, it's getting darker at night. It's getting cooler. So I thought, we need a cozy. We're gonna do tranquil vibes today. Let's just feel positive, everyone. Take in the positive energy, soak in that positive energy. Hopefully you're watching this at 6 p.m. Maybe a bit later, you're in bed. You watch me on the little screen, maybe on your TV. This, 
this is the look for the TV. And I just thought, I'm feeling tranquil, hopefully I can get that vibe out to you. And let's just chat. How are you? Let's all check in with ourselves. I actually want to tell you, sorry, there's going to be 17 conversations because we've got catch-ups. I tell you what, I've actually been practicing some stuff that I feel like I need to share with you guys. First of all, um, I've just put my primer on and I would usually put Flawless Filter, but because this is such a good shade match for me, this is the Beautiful Skin Foundation in Neutral 3. Because it is such a good shade match, I don't want to put anything underneath because the Flawless Filter is not the same kind of match. So I'm just going to wear this on its own. So when I first started my job, we kind of got thrown in, it was very busy and me and Jam were just like in, straight in, doing the job. And I can get anxious before work, can anyone let me know if they get this? Especially in hospitality, like you don't know what the day is going to bring ahead and I do get a little anxious. So I've been seeing lots of TikToks, I'm a TikTok gal. And one of them was like, you should wake up in the morning and a natural instinct of humans is to stretch. So you're meant to do a stretch in the morning. So even if you don't, actively do a stretch. That's how I've been starting my mornings, with a stretch. Then I take a couple of minutes to scan through my body. Now I've done lots of this in my degree, scanning the body. So I have been quite ill recently, so I'll be lying there with my eyes closed. I've done my stretch and I'll just say to myself like, Okay, so at the moment, my breath's a bit thick because, uh, that sounds disgusting, my breath's a bit thick. Um, I'll say like, you know, my throat's a bit sore, my body, my legs are a bit sore, my feet are hurting, mentally I feel good today, or maybe I'm not feeling the best today. So I'll kind of like go through my body and say how I'm feeling to myself. That's been kind of like a new thing I've been doing in the morning and when and then I open my eyes, I look out the window, have a look at light and then I get up for the day and that has kind of been my ritual for the morning. Another thing that I do is some breathing techniques. Now I can't remember what it was called, I'm sure it was called like, can we just talk about the match on that foundation? Seriously, I love it. Um, another thing I've been doing is this breathing technique that I saw on TikTok. Now there's tons of breathing techniques out there and this one was talking about about chakras. Um, so obviously I have no clue about any of that, but what I've been doing is it says you breathe from the root and you count up to seven going all the way to your head. So I've been going in for seven and imagining it coming up to my head and then you hold for three in your head and you breathe out to your heart and imagine the breath going to the heart and you meant to do that three times and that's meant to help with like anxiety um, if you're in a stressful situation so I've been doing that three times I normally do it in the morning after I've done a body scan but if not if I'm feeling a bit anxious like on my way to work or it's mainly on the way to work once I really do it at work um, yeah, if I'm feeling a bit anxious, I kind of do that and it just kind of settles me down. So really try, um, if you're struggling a bit, try that. It's really been helping me. So yeah, that's just a couple of things I've been doing just to kind of like change my mindset, you know, because I went through a bit of a, a rough patch over the past couple of months, not having a direction of where I'm going. It's kind of scary. And I'm sure we've had this conversation before that like, you go to school and they're like, right, what's next? You're going to college or you're getting an apprenticeship? And you're like, cool, I'll do that. You go to college and they're like, right, next, you're going to uni. All right, I'll do that. You finish uni and it's like, cool, go do whatever you want. And that's, I find that so scary. Like I'm, I think I'm like two years out of uni now and I don't know what I want to do in my life. I think coming away, I miss dancing so bad. When we get back to Melbourne, I am going to see if I can pick up some dance classes. All right, I'm just checking. We look good. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at this for the tranquil vibes, everybody. We have potato smileys from the Fianc. Very lovely. Oh, they smell incredible as well. 
Um, yeah, I definitely want to do something with dance or performance, but aside from that, I genuinely couldn't tell you what I want to do in my life. But that's okay. And then, like, what we've said this before, your 20s are so odd. Like, Fran has got a child and he is amazing. Some of my other friends are living in the Queens. Two of the Queens are living in London, one's living in Manchester. Some of my friends are teachers. Some of my friends are still at uni. Some of my friends are like stepping up in their careers. Some of my friends are buying houses. Bea's bought a house, that's incredible. And I think it just goes to show that there is no rules and you forget that. You think, oh, sometimes I have wobbles like, should I be doing this? Should I be starting my career? And actually, there's no rules. And I think that's so exciting. Bit of concealer. Can we just take an appreciation for that foundation and how much it's just covered up? Everything. Yeah, so there really is no rules. So if you're feeling a bit like, you know, anxious about are you making the right decision? Like, should you be starting to create? There are no rules. These are a bit hot. Yum. Wow, this is wholesome vibes. I'm also really enjoying meeting new people. And like, I really, I'm such a nosy person. I love knowing what people are, like want to do with their lives, like what they're up to. So, I don't know if you remember the Ocean Princesses, Ileana and Jaya. They're currently in Turkey. Bear in mind they're Australian. They're in Europe at the moment, traveling round. And then I remember we did this like open day for work and I spoke to this guy who, what did he want to be? He wanted to like plan cities, like plan cityscapes and um, like towns and villages. And I was like, oh, like tell me more about that. What does that entail? And I think there's just like so many options of what you can do. And I feel like I've also learned it's like never too late to start. This has got very deep and philosophical, hasn't it? Also, can I just point out, they do not have crumpets in Australia. Let that sink in, no crumpets in Australia. So um, Francesca's actually got some that her dad brought from England. He's exported them here. Uh, Fran's got some crumpets here and I had one the other day oh my god <clears throat> it was beautiful so if you're in England please do not take crumpets for granted because they are stunning but yeah I just wanted to check in with everyone I feel like I've had a good catch up with all my friends I feel like you know uni's back in full swing people are just working you know I feel like this is such a time of year that's just like plodding along we're all just kind of like plodding along the weather's taking a turn whether you like it or not but festive vibes around the corner. How do we feel about that? I am super excited for Christmas. I mean, it's gonna feel very different this year because obviously we're going into summer. So Christmas is gonna be really different for me this year, um, which is gonna be a strange one, but I'm excited to experience a hot Christmas. So everyone, I'm just eating my smileys. But I am gonna miss like the festive. One thing I definitely want to do at some point in my life is, um, live in Europe, so live in Spain or whatever, and one Christmas, travel around all the markets, so like go to Germany for the markets, go to the Alps and go skiing for a week. Like I think that would be such a fun journey. Also, when I bought my foundation, this lovely lady did my bronzer, and she said to use a smaller brush. Now, the perfect brush for this would be the Lumi Cosmetics, the new round cheek brush. I really want two of them. I want one for bronzer and I want one for blush. Unfortunately, they do not post to Australia just yet, but as soon as I'm home, they are the two brushes I will be buying because they look incredible, fluffy. And as you've seen, I've used this brush for my foundation, absolutely flawless. I use the tapered brush for my powder. So that is definitely on my list of brushes to buy when I get back to the UK. But for now, I've just, I'm have just i just using this one with a little bit of powder and just popping that on, get a bit of color back into this, this face. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so as you'll have seen in a vlog, me and Jam have actually bought a car. She's called Pippa, you'll have seen. She is an old gal, she's my age, she's 22, so she's a year younger than me, but she's in, I feel like in car years, she's an old gal. And we're absolutely in love with her. So we're hoping, we've got to do a service on her soon, but we're hoping she's gonna be like good enough that we're gonna do a road trip. So the next thing we're kind of working towards is December, January time, we are going to be driving from Perth, which is here, Western Australia. No, never eat shredded wheat. Yeah, so the West, it'll be this side for you, I believe. We're here in Perth. We're gonna go down through like Mandra, Bustleton, Bunbury, Albany, Esperance, through to South Australia. When we get to South Australia, we're gonna be going up to the centre, where Uluru is, which is the rock in the centre, the red centre. There we are going to do a night under the stars where basically um, an indigenous person will talk us through that like the stars because apparently because you're in like the middle obviously there's like no civilization around because it's obviously desert that you can see the stars really clearly so we're going to pay for like a star guide to show us around the stars and then from the middle up to Alice Springs, which is quite, which is in Northern Territory, which is quite a popular destination. I think it's got lots, lots of like gorges and stuff, I believe. Um, up there, back all the way down through to Adelaide and then from Adelaide through to Melbourne, where we will hopefully spend a little bit of time, get another job and then second year, who knows? There's so many options for us at the moment we're not actually too sure what we're going to be doing but that's like the kind of next thing that we're working towards that's like the next big project the next thing you'll kind of see us do the big event but for now we are still living with Fran Action and Baby Toots it's going so well they've been so kind and accommodating to us to let us live here because that's the one thing I will say about anyone that's backpacking like obviously me and Jam don't really want to stay in hostels I don't really fancy the bunk bed sitch with other people in the room. If you're happy with that, you'll be fine. But I feel like I've spoke to a lot of backpackers who have said that it's hard to get accommodation out here at the moment. It's very expensive um, and just not much available. And that's kind of all over Australia. So if you are planning on backpacking, just keep that in mind. Maybe look for jobs with accommodation. They're kind of the best things at the moment and we're hope hopefully going to be living on Rottnest Island in December time is hopefully when we're going to be on the island so that'll be fun to live back on an island island living vlogs will be back we haven't actually done much um exploring of Rottnest because we're not living on so just gonna fill in my brow slightly at the end just because it is really like wispy at the ends Yeah, so we actually haven't explored much of Rottnest because obviously we commute, so we're getting a ferry every day. Um, which is fun, I think that's like a cool thing to say. But obviously like the sea gets rough, I'm so used to rough sea now, don't get, don't get scared at all now. Which is kind of a good thing, I feel like everything happens for a reason and the reason we did that is now I'm not scared of ferries anymore. And I'm not scared of the rough sea because I've been on it so often. What was my point everyone? Yeah, so it, that has been cool to commute, but like obviously we do want to live on so we can experience Rottnest a bit more. You know, when we have a day off, we can just go to all the beaches and have an explore. But obviously because we are commuting on our days off, we don't really fancy doing the trip because we get that ferry four or five times a week, which is a lot. So then on your day off to go as well, it's a bit much. Basically, us at the moment just bodding along a bit like everyone else but I feel like it's cozy vibes I mean there's gonna be a weird time where you're gonna be going into winter getting cozy putting scarves on I'm gonna be getting bikinis on I'm really sorry um for that so there is gonna be a little difference in vlogs like are we gonna do vlogmas but summer like summer vlogmas me going to the beach is that an option for us I'm not sure
trying to think if I had anything else I needed to update you on. Plans, just working. Oh, starting to think about our wedding a bit more, which is interesting because obviously we've got like a year left of travelling Australia, then around six months to do Southeast Asia, and then we'll probably be home for a little bit. Now, my plan after that, I do think very far in advance, and my head is full of ideas. After that, obviously, the wedding is going to be the next thing to kind of save for and get to, which I'm I'm starting to get like really excited. Like the Pinterest board is popping off. Um, but I also really want to live in Spain. Is kind of the next thing I'm thinking about, purely because. The weather's a bit nicer, it's a bit closer to home. If, it, if Australia wasn't so far away, I'd live in Australia, hands down, but I'm a very family and friend orientated person, so I do want to be closer to my friends and family. So I feel like Spain, I really want to learn Spanish because my dad is from Chile and he can speak fluent, so I feel like I'd love to speak fluent Spanish and I feel like the only way you can really learn is by living there. Also, it's only about two hours away from home, so I'm getting that sun. And I'm two hours rather than 24 which is obviously much better and an improvement so that's kind of my goal long term short term goal road trip long term goal marriage and Spain but generally like my mood has since I've got a job like my mood has just kind of like popped up you know I've got like a bit more direction now and I think that's what I need in life a bit direct like the next plan the next goal but I, I do need to learn to like enjoy the melts. Enjoy the melts. That was really cringe, wasn't it, everyone? That's okay. But we're keeping this super natural. I think Pips is kind of the biggest, biggest news in our life at the moment. And I love her so much. She's gorgeous. I drove for the first time yesterday and I think I did really well. So happy with that. And I think we're just about done, just lips to go. I tell you one product I really do want to buy. At the moment, I've just got this little like nails thing. It's called Sol Solsty, Stol Stolis. I think that says Solist. Solist? Saltist? Solist. Is Solist a word? I believe so. Um, I want to get the hourglass, is it like the lip, the lip thing? Tell me if you know what I'm talking about. Just a nice natural lip to pop on. Just because like, I feel like we do this natural makeup and then with no lip it looks a little strange but with a full lip it kind of takes away from that naturalness so I feel like that would be a good in between. And that my gorgeous achy bees is the end of the video, I hope you have enjoyed. I post new content every single not sure at the moment. Sundays definitely. We might start potentially ramping the Wednesdays back up. You know, I'm starting to feel a little more inspiration. So let's just say Sundays for now and bonus videos every couple of Wednesdays. But I will see you soon with another video. Bye.